everybody, Justin Trudeau is in New York City. The Canadian Prime Minister is here for a big week. He's got meetings at the United Nations. And guess what? He's stopping by my show. Trudeau is a busy guy, but he always makes time for a good laugh. We're going to talk about everything from world events to Canadian bacon. Okay, maybe not Canadian bacon, but it'll be fun. First things first, Trudeau has a serious job to do at the United Nations. He's meeting with other world leaders. They're talking about important issues, things like climate change, poverty, and peace. It's a big deal. The decisions they make affect everyone. So Trudeau is representing Canada on the world stage. He's sharing our values and our ideas. After the serious stuff, it's time for some fun. Trudeau is coming to my show, The Late Show with Stephen Colbert. We're going to have a great time. It might seem strange, a world leader on a late night talk show, but it's important. It's a chance for Trudeau to connect with people, to talk about serious issues in a different way, and maybe even make them laugh a little. This isn't Trudeau's first time on late night TV. He's been on my show before. He's been on other shows too. He's a natural. Trudeau knows how to work a crowd. He's charming, he's funny, and he's not afraid to be himself. That's what makes him such a good guest. And I think that's why people like him so much. While Trudeau is charming us here in America, things are heating up back in Canada. The political scene is changing. It's a whole new ball game. Trudeau's Liberal Party has been in power for a while now, but they've been facing some challenges. The economy, the environment, you name it, and now there's a new twist. Remember the NDP? The New Democratic Party has been a significant player in Canadian politics for decades. That's the New Democratic Party, Canada's left-leaning party. They have always championed progressive policies, advocating for social justice, environmental sustainability, and economic equality. Recently, they've been helping Trudeau's Liberals stay in power through a strategic partnership. This collaboration has been crucial in maintaining a stable government. It's called a supply and confidence agreement. This means the NDP agreed to support the Liberals on key votes, ensuring the government could pass its budget and other critical legislation. Basically, the NDP agreed to support the Liberals on important votes. But guess what? This agreement was not without its conditions. The NDP just pulled out of the deal. This sudden move has sent shockwaves through the political landscape. They say the Liberals aren't doing enough about the issues that matter to Canadians. The NDP has been vocal about their dissatisfaction with the government's progress on health care, affordable housing, and climate change. So now, Trudeau's government is in a tougher spot. Without the NDP's support, passing legislation will be more challenging, and the Liberals may have to make significant concessions to other parties or risk losing confidence votes. This move by the NDP is a bold statement. It underscores their commitment to their principles and their willingness to stand up for what they believe in, even if it means shaking up the political status quo. For many Canadians, this decision by the NDP is a sign of hope. It shows that there are still politicians willing to prioritize the needs of the people over political convenience. The coming weeks will be crucial. The Liberals will need to navigate this new political reality carefully, and the NDP will have to prove that their decision was the right one for Canadians. One thing is certain, Canadian politics just got a lot more interesting. The NDP's bold move has set the stage for a new chapter in the country's political narrative. Stay tuned as this story unfolds. Trudeau has a lot on his plate. He's got to deal with international issues at the UN. He's got to deal with political drama back home. It's a tough job. He's got to find a way to keep his government together. He's got to find a way to work with other parties. And he's got to find a way to connect with Canadians. No pressure, right? Section 8. Facing the music in the house. The Canadian Parliament is a place where the nation's most critical decisions are made. And it's a hub of political activity. It's a place where leaders are held accountable and where the future of the country is debated and decided. When Trudeau gets back to Canada, he's got to face the music. After being away, he returns to a political landscape that is as challenging as ever. The expectations are high and the stakes are even higher. Every move he makes is scrutinized and every word he says is analyzed. He's got to go back to the House of Commons. This is where he will confront his critics and defend his policies. It's a place where he must demonstrate his leadership and his vision for the country. The House of Commons is not just a building. It's the heart of Canadian democracy. That's where the Canadian Parliament meets. 
It's a place steeped in history and tradition, where the voices of the people are represented. The debates that happen here shape the nation's future, and the decisions made here impact every Canadian. And it can get pretty intense. The debates are often heated, and the discussions can be fierce. It's a place where passions run high and where the stakes are always significant. The intensity of the debates reflects the importance of the issues being discussed. The opposition parties are going to grill him. They will challenge his decisions and question his policies. They will hold him accountable for his actions and demand answers. It's a crucial part of the democratic process, ensuring that the government remains transparent and accountable. They're going to ask him tough questions about the NDP deal. This deal has been a point of contention, and the opposition will want to know the details. They will question the implications of the deal and its impact on the country. Trudeau will need to provide clear and convincing answers. They're going to ask him what he's going to do about the economy. The economy is always a critical issue, and the opposition will want to know his plans. They will question his strategies and demand solutions. Trudeau will need to articulate his vision for economic growth and stability. It's going to be a showdown. The debates will be intense and the discussions will be critical. It's a time when leadership is tested and when the future of the country is at stake. The House of Commons will be the stage for this political drama, and the nation will be watching closely. Section 9. Can Colbert boost Trudeau's image? So can Trudeau's appearance on my show help him out? Can a little late-night laughter boost his image back home? Maybe. People like to see their leaders relax and have a good time. It makes them seem more human, more relatable. And who knows, maybe Trudeau will say something on my show that will resonate with Canadians. Section 10. The Power of Laughter and Late Night In the quiet hours of the night when the world seems to slow down, there's a unique magic that unfolds on late night television. It's a time when the barriers of the day fall away and we can all come together to share a laugh. Don't underestimate the power of laughter. It's more than just a reaction to a joke. It's a universal language that transcends boundaries. Laughter has the incredible ability to connect us, to bridge gaps between different cultures, backgrounds, and experiences. When we laugh together, we create a bond that is both immediate and enduring. It can bring people together. Think about the times you've shared a hearty laugh with friends or even strangers. Those moments of shared joy create memories that last a lifetime. Laughter is a powerful tool for building relationships and fostering a sense of community. It's a reminder that, despite our differences, we all share the same human experience. It can make tough times a little easier. Life is full of challenges and hardships, but laughter can be a beacon of light in the darkest of times. It has a way of lifting our spirits and providing a much needed break from the stresses of everyday life. When we laugh, we release endorphins, which help to reduce stress and improve our overall mood. In times of difficulty, a good laugh can be the best medicine, and it can even make politics a little more bearable. In a world where political discourse can often be divisive and contentious, laughter can serve as a unifying force. It reminds us that, at the end of the day, we're all human beings with a shared sense of humor. When politicians and public figures share a laugh, it humanizes them and makes them more relatable. It can also provide a moment of levity in an otherwise serious and often stressful arena. So, tune into The Late Show to see Justin Trudeau. Our special guest tonight is none other than the Prime Minister of Canada. It's not every day you get to see a world leader in a more relaxed and candid setting. This is your chance to see a different side of Justin Trudeau, one that you won't find in the usual political coverage. We're going to have some laughs. Expect plenty of humor and lighthearted moments as we dive into a range of topics, from personal anecdotes to behind-the-scenes stories. There's sure to be something that will tickle your funny bone. Laughter is the best way to break the ice and set the tone for an engaging and enjoyable conversation. We're going to talk about important stuff. While laughter is a key component of the show, we won't shy away from discussing the pressing issues of the day. From politics and social issues to culture and entertainment, we'll cover it all. Our goal is to provide a balanced mix of humor and substance, ensuring that you leave the show both entertained and informed. And who knows, maybe we'll even learn a thing or two. The best conversations are those that leave you with something to think about, whether it's a new perspective on a familiar topic or an insight into a world you know little about, there's always something to be gained from a thoughtful discussion. So sit back, relax, and join us for a night of laughter, learning, and late night fun. Section 11. Looking ahead, 
challenges, and opportunities. Trudeau's trip to New York is a whirlwind of activity. From the seriousness of the UN to the lightheartedness of my show, it's a chance for him to connect with people on different levels. Back home, the political landscape is changing. Trudeau faces challenges but also opportunities. Can he navigate these choppy waters and come out on top? Only time will tell.